Hi guys, um, welcome to your Java tutorial on a new topic this time. It's called functions, and I've done a brief introduction to this topic before, but uh, this time it's gonna be more detailed. And now, well, you guys know how to write a function, and in all of your code, well, you all use functions. Well, public void main that that's a function that you're writing, but how can you use those functions for a more versatile a more important job than just a public void made and let's say that you want to do two things now instead of having one main function to do those two things how about having two functions one to do one thing and one to do another and that is the essence of having custom functions or as people call it user defined functions that's what it's called user defined functions now let me give you an example of how user defined functions can well be useful for you now let's say i tell you that you have to make a class called class i don't know horse let's say that's your class now I tell you that you need to make this horse do two things one is you need to make the horse eat and you need to make the horse run now if I told you to implement a function to do this or to do these things by using functions you could have one main function that does both these things or instead you could have one function eat and another function run to run uh, I'm sorry to work separately for this class horse so that's why you'll use user defined functions so let's get into let's say the coding aspect of it now you all know the code the syntax for a function public this is how we've been writing our functions public void main and whatever parameters out here and now as I've said before this is the access specifier or access modifier whatever you want to call it now and um, this is the return type and this is the name and here you have the parameters now I've said this before and I'm sure these things are clear to you by now so what are the kinds of access specifiers there's four of them uh, rather there's three of them there's public private and protected but I won't be going into that as of now as of now we'll write all our functions in public or you can leave it blank and not give an access specifier that is legal but that is known as um, default level access you can do that it's acceptable so you don't have to give an access specifier for now we're just gonna go with public now return type here there's any data types I've already done a video on data types so it can be int double it can be string so that's the it can be any data type um name well you already know you can name it anything and parameters are up to you it can be index string a whatever you want so this is pretty simple this is how you will be writing your function so if I told you to let's say write a function that um, let's say that checks whether a number is prime you'd go public now let's say I told you to return 1 if the number is prime so you'd go public int 
नाउ आल गेट टू दिस इन अ मोमेंट पब्लिक इंट प्राइम इंट एन फॉर नंबर एंड हियर यूड हैव योर प्राइम नंबर कोड now at the end of it i said you return one if it's prime how do you return something it's pretty simple it's plain simple english just write return one let's say you have an if check here if prime or something like that return one now something about return statements there can only be one return statement in a function only one return per function this this is a very important question they normally ask you this so remember that there's only one return if there's two return statements it's it's legal to have more than one return statement but only one return per function is executed remember that so what happens if you call a function now what happens is rather um i'm sorry i'll get into that a little later in the video but just remember there's only one return per function the return that occurs first in the control of the program is first executed let's say you're going through your prime number code and there's a return before this return let's say 5 this return 5 if it comes before it'll be returned so it depends on the control flow of the program okay now let's look at a let's say a full program using return rather i'm sorry using functions let's say i told you you have one function and let's say there's some class here public void main that takes in two numbers int a int b now let's say i told you that you have to take these numbers pass them to a function that returns their sum so let's say there's a function that returns their sum is equal to whatever this let's just leave this blank for now and okay and i told you to print the sum now you could just do a plus b yeah sure you could do that but for illustration purposes i want to show you how to do this with functions so let's say we have our function here public void rather no it returns what does it return now an important aspect see if the function i'm sorry if the function Okay, I'm sorry. If the function is returning an int value, in the sense if sum is an int, that means the function has to be returning an int value. So that means whatever is here has to be here. Public int. Keep this in mind. The return type of the function and the type of the variable in which the result is stored has to be the same. Let me illustrate that for you. Um, let's say we call our function num sum for number sum i know it's a pretty stupid name int a int b now mind you this doesn't have to be a and b it doesn't have to be the same as it is up there it can be x and y these are two different variables they have two different scopes these two are valid in only this num sum function and a and b are valid in only main so public int num sum now we say um int sum of num equals x plus y and we write here return sum of num so how do i access this num sum function from let's say my main function well it's pretty simple you just write int sum equals num sum you write the name of the function and the variables you want to pass to it you can write a b now let's say you want to know the sum of 4 and 5 if you pass in here 4 and 5 these are the arguments these are called arguments remember that these are arguments 
and these are parameters so th these are the values that get passed into a function these are the requirements that the function has that's the main difference so if you pass in let's say 4 and 5 then what um, it will return out here 9 that's simple arithmetic so here you can pass in a comma b also so I, I that's it for this video I know I'm sure there are a lot of things that are confusing you please post in the comments if there's anything that you don't understand but I will be making more videos on functions because functions is a pretty large topic can't be covered in one video so um, have a good day I hope this video was good and on a, another uh, a lighter note I'd like to give um, a sort of mention to one of my friends bands he, uh, his name is Piyush Chobe and his band is called That Indian Kid I'll be posting a link of the band in the description of the video but it's soundcloud.com slash that Indian Kid I'll be posting the link so uh, he's a really good musician currently going to college Chapman University in the USA he's really good he plays the guitar and he sings so I'd really like it if you guys could um, check out his band so thank you